This is Jay Lee, hope all is well. I just wanted to show you a few things that we saw at our last UFO sighting event on August 25th, 2019 at Sequoia Park in Monterey Park, Los Angeles, California. First of all, I'd like to thank everyone who attended this last event. People drove very far to be at this event and I really appreciate it. I hope you were able to bring home memories of a couple of UFOs. It wasn't as active of a day as I would like, but we were still able to see about 12 UFOs. I know after 5 o'clock we saw 5 or 6 more. Fosto, Yasmin, Charles, John just did a great job uh, drawing in UFOs to our location. We always have a great time together and it was exciting seeing some very strange things. I really think that we've seen more UFOs than people who have written books about the subject. I hope you remember the two main rules when it comes to seeing UFOs. Number one, UFOs may look different from what you expect. Number two, flying saucers may look like UFOs, but not all UFOs look like flying saucers. They are called indications of imitation, subtle differences between what is real and what is not. Kind of like the differences between a duck and a decoy. So let me show you a couple of things that I ended up seeing. This one was one of my favorites of the day. This one looked a little pointy to me. It also looked like it had uh, bilateral tethers tied to its tuft. And it looks like the tethers were tied in a loop. This one stayed with us for about 25 minutes and is probably about a mile or a mile and a half away. We were talking about this when we were all making a calling, but you know, we asked for something weird to show up and this one didn't disappoint. To be honest, I think it's hard enough to see something normal flying up there. To see something abnormal, now you're talking lottery numbers. This object seemed to be morphing, some sort of polymorphic repetition. It kept on showing the same stuff over and over and over again. It also seemed like it was inflating and deflating. And then other times it seems like it was tearing open. It seemed like it was almost revealing what was on the inside of it, which was a different color. If this one was a balloon and torn at the top, which direction do you think it would go? When a weather balloon pops or bursts open, it goes to the ground. I hope you understand that this one is breaking the rules. The other rule breaker was that it didn't follow the wind. It stopped for about 25 minutes and then head in the opposite direction. It doesn't take that much helium loss to take something like this down. So did someone launch this torn open or did a bird carry around a knife? Logic and critical thinking say no. These are what I call indications of imitation. Either you're going to pick up on it or you're going to step over it. What you're looking at is the difference between a tree and a cell phone tower that looks like a tree. You cannot ignore these hints. We set the date, time and place we brought equipment to capture these things. And we did. We didn't just get lucky again. If you think about it, if aliens are observing us, they are probably a lot more advanced than we are. And I suspect that they're very good at camouflage. And I suspect that we are easy to fake out. Anyway, no matter what we see, we have to evaluate. We have to scrutinize. It's also very important that we see these things up close. This is in order to see the subtle differences that they may end up showing. And this is the reason why I bring my telescope hooked up to a high definition television. I really want people to see what I see. And I want to be there when you see your very first UFO. We only saw about 12 objects during this regular time. What are the chances of this happening? And if you think these things are balloons, there's an onshore breeze which blows wind toward the east. If you drove 5 miles north or 5 miles south, do you think you would see the same amount? Do you think we're in some sort of a funnel? With that type of logic, shouldn't you be able to follow the wind, drive 5 miles passing thousands of houses and not only see what we see but even more? That's not going to happen. But I challenge anybody out there to try. I'll make sure I videotape your attempt. I truly believe that the only people that will see these objects are the people who call for them. And this is one of the reasons why we end up seeing, well, flybys. I actually think that they wait for us to videotape them as they fly by. Anyway, I can't stop people believing what they do. I can only just show you the facts. I call this one Acanthosome Zonhalos. This is a spiny body with bipolar circular belts. I do believe that these entities can transform to uh, basically protect itself from predators or even us. So if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. Please sign up for LA UFO channel on meetup.com. We'll let you know when the next UFO sighting event occurs. So I hope you like the video and I guess I'll see you guys next time.
This one was absolutely not normal. I'm glad you were able to share this one with me.